Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rosa Oliai, obstetrician and gynecologist. Today I'll be talking about a very important topic of recurrent abortions. So when, you, when a woman comes, she's pregnant but is not able to take it to nine months and she repeatedly aborts herself. So we have once abortion, second abortion, third abortion in patients. This becomes very frustrating to the woman. And also it becomes a challenge to the doctor because you cannot find out the cause. Most of the time is you know, unknown. You cannot detect what has happened. However, there are certain things which points out to point out, you know, to tell us what is a cause. Like for example, it could be related to the age of the woman. So the older the woman is above the age of 33, 34, they are the ones who have these repeated abortions. Those women whose BMI is very high, so they are obese. Those women who even got you know, diseases like diabetes, thyroid, which are uncontrolled. So these could be the factors that could lead to in having repeated abortions. It could also be related to genetic problems, chromosomal anomalies in the partners, the woman and her partner. So it, many of these reasons could also be you know, understood if you see at the, when you take the history of the woman at what stage the abortion has taken place so we have those abortions which happen earlier in a pregnancy so we would say you know before eight weeks she has aborted these abortions could be you know because of the problems related to chromosome it could be a karyotyping problem so it's best whenever we do there is an abortion done beyond three you know abortions in a woman it should be investigated so the product of the conception should also be sent for karyotyping to see what was the result why did it happen this way so it could also be because of some endocrinological factors as i mentioned to you earlier because of thyroid disorders maybe the diabetes is out of control so these could lead to an early abortion in a woman if the abortion takes place beyond eight weeks so that means late abortions you know, the fetus has got heart, the heartbeat can be seen till the end. These could be related to either an, an anatomical problems in the uterus, it could be, a, you know, a septa here maybe, maybe the uterus is not well developed, maybe that person had a lot of, you know, issues in, inside the uterus, it could be congenital. It could also be immunological, so there's an immune system which plays and like you know antiphospholipid antibodies APLA as we say that could also be the reason of abortion sometimes even it could be because of infections so we have these bacterial infections vaginal infections so these are the reasons for which the abortion takes place beyond eight weeks and there are ways of course to you know examine and you know find out investigate these causes Importantly would be of course an ultrasonography because an ultrasound, a 3D scan can tell us if there is a septa or there is any deformity. It could talk about a lot of issues related with the you know, anatomical structure of the uterus. There are certain blood tests that we can do. As I mentioned, we could you know, check the women, those who are aborting regularly for the karyotyping, both the partners, the wife and the partner. Uh, thyroid dysfunctions, diabetes, any related, you know, disease. Importantly, the weight, the BMI. Many abortions happen if the weight is too much. You have to reduce your weight anyhow. You cannot get pregnant again because obesity is itself a cause of repeated abortions. So you have to keep that in mind. So the best thing could be that you have to treat yourself go to your doctor you have to change your lifestyle if it's because of bmi and there are now uh, investigations which could be done like uh, before getting pregnant you could test yourself with chromosomal anomalies uh, there is you know, even premarital counseling which i would always say if you see my videos i say before getting married get yourself checked up for these kind of issues that it shouldn't happen you know after you're married and of course, treatment for different disease, of course, get yourself, your diabetes should be controlled, thyroid should be controlled. And then with, you know, proper counseling, you can always get yourself pregnant because definitely if, if the cause is treated, you know, if you investigate yourself properly, 60% of the cause will be known to you. We have even for, you know, getting the 
embryo for an IVF, you know, suppose you want to go for an IVF pregnancy, before we implant the embryo, we can get a biopsy done and see if genetically the embryo is all right. So there are a lot of methodologies, methods that could be now used in order to have you, giving you a safe pregnancy. So it's very important for patients of repeated abortions to join a support group. We at the OLEI Hospital have got a support group. So it would be a pleasure for us to have you along with us. And I hope we'll be able to solve your queries and remove the tension and the anxiety because more, more important thing is to meditate, to keep your mind relaxed and cool because that all will affect the structure of your body. So wishing you all the best. I hope you can subscribe this channel, like and share it with all your friends. Looking forward to have you to join us in our support group for you. Thank you.